Light hyperpolarizes photoreceptors. The signal propagates through bipolar cells to retinal ganglion cells, or RGCs, which carry visual information from the retina to the brain. RGCs have a receptive field that can be described as two concentric circles, a small circular center and a broader ring around the center called the surround. These receptive fields fall into two categories, the off-center on-surround and the on-center off-surround. In RGCs with an on-center off-surround receptive field, when there is no light stimulus, the RGC fires at a baseline rate. When a light spot coincides with the on center, the firing rate is at a maximum during the stimulus. As the light circle expands to cover the off surround, the firing pattern diminishes closer to baseline firing. When there is light only on the off surround and not on the on center, then the baseline firing is suppressed during the stimulus period. The receptive fields of RGCs are established by signaling in upstream retinal circuits. There are two types of bipolar cells that signal to RGCs, on and off. Off bipolar cells preserve the sign of the cone and are therefore hyperpolarized by light. On bipolar cells reverse the sign of the cone and are depolarized by light. In addition to sending signals to the bipolar cells, cones also send signals to horizontal cells, which connect to surrounding cones. Horizontal cells receive excitatory input from the cones and send inhibitory feedback in return. In this schematized on-center, off-surround circuit, a center cone is flanked by surround cones and connected to an on-bipolar cell downstream. When only the on-center is illuminated by light, the center cone is hyperpolarized and therefore releases very little neurotransmitter. However, the surround cones are depolarized because they didn't receive light and therefore still release neurotransmitter. The horizontal cell is excited by this neurotransmitter and continues to send high levels of inhibitory feedback to all the cones. This inhibitory feedback causes the center cone to release even less neurotransmitter. The on bipolar cell postsynaptic to the center cone is maximally excited as it reverses the sign of the cone. When the light expands into the inhibitory surround, the surrounding cones become hyperpolarized, and the horizontal cell is less excited. Inhibition to the center cone is reduced, and the on bipolar cell is consequently less excited compared to the previous state. When light reaches only the off surround and not the on center, the surround cones release little neurotransmitter. Since they are more numerous than the center cone, the horizontal cell is minimally excited, and its inhibitory signals are low. The center cone becomes depolarized due to the absence of light at the center of the receptive field, as well as reduced inhibition from the horizontal cell. Its neurotransmitter release increases to high levels, which leads to the least excitation of the on bipolar cell. RGCs inherit this on-center off-surround pattern from the on-bipolar cell. An off-center on-surround RGC simply receives input from an off-bipolar cell that is connected to the center cone. 